branches of botany so during the time of the 20th century during the time of 20th century botany is well developed century botany is well developed by the application of biophysics biochemistry and molecular biology molecular biology okay it is well developed at the time of century so botany is well developed by the application of biophysics and biochemistry and molecular biology so based on the applications so botany is divided that uh, many branches so in this one <coughs> first one is the morphology morphology means it deals with that different structure of that uh, parts of the plant body it deals with different organs of plant plant body different different organs of plant body is known as that uh, morphology so it is pre prerequisite prerequisite means it is a primary requirement it is prerequisite for classification of plant it is the objective bit for classification of plants for classification of uh, plants right so which branch of botany is required for classification of the plants morphology right so morphology again divided into two classes or uh, two, two two types first one is the external morphology second one is the internal morphology external morphology means it explains external characters of plant body external characters of uh, plant body okay for example we can easily okay observe that identify that so it means root stem leaf flower etc so external characters of the plant body it means we can easily observe that it means physical appearance of the character of roots stem and leaf flower by the external morphology after that uh, internal morphology it details with that okay it deals with uh, internal parts of plant body internal parts of plant body is known as or internal structure of the internal structure of the parts of the plant body is known as internal morphology <coughs> internal morphology again two types first one is the histology second one is anatomy histology means it deals with 
different tissues of plant body different tissues of plant body so that is known as that uh, okay histology anatomy it deals with uh, it deals with in gross internal details of the plant body gross internal details of the plant body internal details of plant body right so that is known as that anatomy okay so after that <coughs> internal details of the plant body gross means total internal details of the plant body it is a ts of stem ts of root okay ts of leaf we explain that in that anatomy right after that cell biology or cytology it deals with it deals with cell structure function and multiplication of cell it means cell division and their multiplication and the multiplication structure of cell function of cell and cell division and their multiplication so that is known as that cell biology or cytology after that plant physiology so in the plant physiology it deals with that vital functions of the plants vital functions of the plant vital activities of the plant are vital functions of the plants okay so for example what are that absorption of water photosynthesis respiration nitrogen metabolism and plant growth and development plant growth development so that is known as that plant physiology so after that plant physiology embryology embryology it deals with development of development of male and female gametophyte female gametophyte and formation of gametes after that fission of gametes fertilization embryo endosperm and seed development right so that is known as that embryology process it deals with the development of male and female gametophyte formation of gametes fission of gametes fertilization embryo 
endosperm and seed so that is known as that uh, embryology after that palynology palynology means it deals with it deals with the, with the study of pollen grains study of pollen grain deals with the study of pollen grain okay so that is known as that uh, palynology after that ecology it deals with the study of study of reciprocal relationship it means mutual relationship reciprocal relationship between plants and environment plants and environment so that is known as that plant ecology okay <coughs> after that genetics it deals with that it deals with the study of structure of gene structure of gene and function of gene inheritance and mutation inheritance and mutation so that is known as that genetics okay <coughs> after that <coughs> plant pathology it explains symptoms of disease causes of disease and curing of disease in plants is known as that plant pathology okay after that paleo botany it deals with the study of it deals with it deals with the study of fossil plants deals with that study of fossil plants so <coughs> that is known as that uh, 
paleo botany or paleontology it helps to understand it helps to understand and course of evolution and course of evolution okay by the using of fossil plants we can easily understand that, that evolution process that is known as that paleobotany after the paleobotany phytogeography it deals with the distribution of plants distribution of plants on the earth before past and on the earth present and past present and past present and past so that is known as phytogeography after the phytogeography phycology so phycology means it deals with study of algae okay deals with the study of algae related to that total information total information of algae right so that is known as that phycology after that mycology it deals with it deals with the study of fungi and related and related information to fungi okay that is known as that mycology after that lichenology i am also explain before that fungi algae what is the meaning and lichenology it deals with the study of study of lichens study of lichens and their information and their information so that is known as that lichenology after that microbiology it deals with the study of microorganism like bacteria virus and protozoa right so in this one study of bacteria is known as bacteriology study of virus is known as that virology okay so after that microbiology bryo bryology it deals with study of
bryophytes so generally they are described as amphibians of plant kingdom so they are the cryptogams so after that pteridology it deals with the study of study of pteridophyta plants they are described as vascular cryptogams so this all are that branches of botany plant pathology explains symptoms disease causes of disease and curing of disease in plants paleo botany it deals with the study of fossil plants okay it helps to study and uh, understanding of the course of evolution to understand and uh, study of course of evolution phytogeography deals with the distribution of plants distribution of plants on their present and past phycology it deals with the study of algae and related to total information of that algae mycology it deals with the study of fungi and related information to that fungi lichenology it deals with the study of lichens and their information okay microbiology it deals with the study of microorganism like bacteria virus and uh, protozoa so in the microbiology again to bacteriology and virology bacteriology means it deals with the study of bacteria and deals with the study of virus is known as that virology bryology it deals with the study of bryophytes they are also described as amphibians of a plant kingdom right so tridology it deals with the study of tridophyta they are described as vascular cryptogams